Hey, good morning everyone and welcome back for another reading of the Old Testament. For those of you that have been following along, you know that we are in the book of Genesis. And today we're going to start chapter 39. Uh, if you don't have a Bible, remember that you can go to Bible.com um, or download the Version app and read for free. Uh, we have a total of 23 verses today. And it is about Joseph, a slave in Egypt. That is the only topic that we cover today. Um, yeah, I'm still still thinking about <laughs> yesterday's reading. Yeah, a little, um, just I, I'm really in, I'm enjoying this read um, through the Bible. I've I've learned things as I read through the New Testament that I had never heard in church before, and I'm definitely learning some things from the Old Testament that they never covered. Uh, from the pulpit. So, uh, as uh, Francis Chan said in, in one YouTube video that I watched of his, um, don't trust what everyone else tells you about the Bible. Uh, go read it for yourself. You know, whenever you get to heaven and to, to well, well, let me rephrase that, when you get to the gates, you know, and you start being asked questions or and, and, and your judgment is being done and we're not going to be able to say, you know, well, so-and-so told me. You you need to get into the Word. And hopefully um, uh, I can help you with that because uh, we're reading the Word together. I'm not I'm not preaching it to you. I'm just reading it to you because I'm not a preacher. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a guy. All right, so chapter 39, let's go ahead and get into it if you're ready. All right. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there. The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all he did to, his, to prosper in his hand. So Joseph found favor in his sight and served him. Then he made him an overseer of his house, and all that he had he put under his authority. So it was from the time that he made him overseer of his house and all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake, and the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate. Now Joseph was handsome in form and, uh, and appearance. And it came to pass after these things that the master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look, my master does not know what is with me in the house, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So it was, as she spoke to Joseph that day, that he did not heed her to lie with her or be with her. But it happened about this time when Joseph went into the house to do his work, and none of the men of the house was inside, that she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. And so it was when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and fled outside that she called to the men of her house and spoke to them, saying, See, he has brought in to us a Hebrew to mock us. He came in to lie with me, and I cried out with a loud voice, and it happened. And when he heard that I lifted my voice and cried out, he left his garment with me and fled and went outside. So she kept his garment with her until his master came home. Then she spoke with him, to him with words like these, saying, the Hebrew servant whom you brought to us came in to me and mocked, to mock me. So it happened as I lifted my voice and cried out that he left his garment with me and fled outside. So it was when the master heard these words, which his wife spoke to him, saying, Your servant did to me after this manner, that his anger was aroused. Then Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, a place where the king's prisoners were confined. And he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor on the side of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority, because the Lord was with him, and he did. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. 
Well, that's a much better chapter in the Bible. Um, obviously, uh, Joseph was was falsely accused, um, and we all know that still happens to this day. Um, but um, God still showed favor and, and took care of Joseph um, through those hard times. Even in prison, God made him like the leader of the prison, right? So, um, trust God, my friends. Uh, whatever it is that you're going through, I promise that God has a, a path forward. Um, it may not be a path that, that, that you can see um, or, or that you even, you know, think is the right path. You may you may think that you're supposed to take another path, um, but that's not the path that, that God has uh, lit up before you. So um, just... Just hold that lantern out, right? Um, keep the fire burning in it. Hold it out ahead of you and follow the path that God shows to you step by step. All right. Thanks so much from Central Texas. I appreciate you all. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> if you know someone who might like my videos, um, send them my channel link or send them, you know, uh, a link to one of the videos that, that, that of mine that you like. And, um, yeah, help us hit a thousand subscribers. I've been trying for a while now. We're so close. We're a little over 880 subscribers right now. So, um, we are so, so, so close. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything that you all do for me from central Texas. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess. He's right there to guide you, unseen you're not alone.